welcome back to our channel, Nick and Helmy. So yeah, I'm actually quite swollen now. It's only one month away. I know. But today we are going to eat Polish food. It's actually recommended by one of you. And we are currently at Sari Hills. And let me show you. So we are still going through the menu. And the waiter is like, do you want some drink? I said, yeah, for sure. And he recommend this one, which is the best Polish drink apparently. Um, um, so hard to say, salotka, which is the vodka and apple juice. Obviously, it's not for me; it's for Nick. And then today it's like super hot, and Nick is like, "Yeah, why not?" So I already forgot what this is called, but this is uh, the vodka and apple uh, juice. I think uh, I forgot what it's called, but I'll put the name down here. But yeah, this is. Uh, this is like 1 o'clock in the afternoon uh, and we're already going hard. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's give it a go. Oh, you can't really... This is a little faint of the vodka, but it's really smooth. You know, it's more like an apple juice. It's really refreshing because they got, they got a lot of ice and it's like 35 degrees today. It's seriously humid and hot, but yeah, this is really refreshing. It's, it's sweet and light and sweetness as well, but nice. There you go. So this time around today, we're actually going to, have to uh, be trying the fried version. We actually tried the boiled version and it was beautiful, but the fried version, this should be really interesting. So they got the onions, they got the bacon on top as well. I mean, we got like the cheese, the sauerkraut, the mushroom, and what was the last one? Uh, the beef as well. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got like uh, pork goulash coming as well. So it's really, really uh, interesting. And the place is really homey as well. You can just, you can see it's like very traditional, but they got a lot of like good reviews on, on Google. So we were uh, keen after uh, uh, somebody who's like uh, from Poland uh, told us to try this place. So, so here we are and uh, ready to get started. All right, so we got our pierogi. Um, it's the Polish dumpling. So we got the fried one this time. You can get a boiled one as well. So I'm not sure what flavor is this. Let me just cut it. This is the something with mushroom. Yeah, I mean, sauerkraut, mushroom. sauerkraut with mushroom. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Honestly, it's quite greasy, but you know, I love greasy stuff, so it's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, like as I mentioned, I think the uh, sauerkraut is not too sour. Um, I'm not normally not a fan of sauerkraut because it can be like super super sour but this one uh, got pretty good balance and then the dumpling skin is also not super thick as well yeah it's, it's pretty greasy but I like it mm. wow, so that's the beef right? yeah that's the beef look at that like it's mince actually uh, cheat a little bit uh, off screen I tried it it's actually really good <laughs> I want to get like some of the bacon and some of the onion there, like a little bit of caramel station from the onion because they fry it. It's really, really nice. Mm. It is so soft. The, the beef is extremely soft. It's like, it's like shredded beef. It's got a lot of flavor. There's a little sweetness as well. The tenderness and juiciness and then like you add a little bit of the cream. It's just a little bit more tanginess of flavor. But the beautiful uh, fried bacon and then and then the onion on top, that's just like, it's like a must. It's an extra $2.50 to add that on top, but it's like worth it. Yeah. You combine them together, it's like one hella like explosion of flavor in your mouth. It is so delicious. Like, yeah, I actually love this. Uh, I've never tried the fried version, so this is the first, but it is like mind-blowing so far. Like, it is such a homey dish, but it is just like, it's so good. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, you know what I mean? Like, like that kind of like, mom and dad type of cooking, yeah. like that's just so comfy, that it's just, just so right, you know? They get it right, without really overkilling the flavor or uh, underwhelming flavor, it's just perfect. This is the cheese, uh, the potato and cheese. Okay. It's another classic here, I love this. Okay, we're gonna try to see if we can get a little bit of that. Yeah, I think I got a lot of the onion in there. <laughs> you know, I wish the bacon and onion got a bit more. A bit more, right? Yeah. yeah, it's really, really good. Like, you gotta add this for $2.50, that is madness for its flavor, here we go. 
It's very potato-y, more like there's a lot of the potato. So you get a lot of that potato flavor, a bit of that beautiful uh, onions to give that like sweetness and, and the bacon obviously as well. But yeah, I think the beef is still like, I think out of those two, like the beef is like boom, like the best. Okay, so when we ordered the main, we didn't think that it was gonna be this big. It is insane, but it is like, well, you know, when we were looking at the price, we were like, yeah, that can't be small because it was like around $15, $20 for the main and even for the cabbage roll too. So I'm very keen to could try both. So this is a pork goulash here on the left side here on my left. Yeah. And then that's the cabbage roll. Yeah. yeah. Like, so that's very interesting. I thought it's gonna be small, but this is huge. Yeah, it's, it looks like a sausage roll. <laughs> now let's just cut this. Ooh, it's Ooh. Oh, and it's like it's like meat inside as well. Yeah, oh. it's like meat and rice or something. Oh, like, okay, that's kind of cool. It's not just cabbage, like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're gonna cut the, the pork goulash here. Oh, it sounds really crispy here. You can hear that. Okay, I think I got a bit of that uh, pork and along like the skin here as well. So let's give this a go. It's like a, you know, um, braised pork. It's really soft chunky pieces as well but yeah it's really soft it's like shredded as well and you got like a really nice kind of like a mellow kind of almost like a tomatoey uh, kind of flavor from the sauce as well now the the, the batter here or like, it's like pancake, yeah it's like a little pancake here so that's a very crispy got a little bit of pepper in it as well so it has a nice seasoning to it just gives it that little bit of like kind of salty savory flavor on top of like a little bit of a sweet kind of like pokey flavor as well quite nice actually and then I don't know if there has any potato in it but yeah I'm just guessing here I've never tried this before <laughs> yeah so apparently this is like potato pancake I just read the menu again and then obviously the pork goulash is in, un underneath there and there's like cream on top as well it's a bunch of cream here on top so uh, I might try to like combine that with the pancake batter here. Oh nice, that gives it an even more intense flavor. Beautiful. All right, so this is the cabbage roll and then we got the beautiful tomato sauce and some mashed potato. Let me try the tomato sauce. Normally we hate tomato sauce because it's like super sour, so let's try this. Ooh, it's like kind of sweet, so yeah, looks like sausage. <laughs> you know, this is exactly like a um, sausage roll, but instead of like, you know, crispy layer of pastry, you got all this wet kind of cabbage, but yeah, inside it's like super filling because you got the rice and pork, pretty good. Alright, so the one good thing we love about that Polish restaurant is the fact that it's close to one of my favorite uh, yogurt places, which is uh, Yochi. And it's just around the corner here. If we just move our car like like 100 meters, we're so lazy, so hot right now. But here we go. It is just here. And that's one way to end a beautiful kind of Polish uh, demolition day. <laughs> really, really good food, but Yochi is one of our favorite. It's just around the corner from the Polish uh, restaurant. It's worth taking a trip uh, because it is hot. It is summer right now, and yeah. it's one way to get refreshed. Really, and like the mochi that they got, they got some strawberry mochi, beautiful like fresh fruits, the mango, and we got some lychee as well. And that is the chocolate brownie for Helmi, of course. <laughs> That is so good. It's like, especially I like got a hot, humid weather like this. This is one yeah. way to end the episode. Beautiful. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, you know, don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And we will see you on the next episode. So, see you later.